Welcome to the service enablement for mobile applications tutorial using WebSphere Message Broker version 8 with Fixpack 1 installed. Included in this latest release of WebSphere Message Broker is new capability which enables mobile application integration. Here in part 1 we will be defining and creating the necessary service enablement logic for us to create mobile applications which can be deployed onto a number of mobile instances. Let's start in the Message Broker version 8 toolkit on the left hand side of this panel. You will see the Fixpack toolkit and the Patterns Explorer. Using this toolkit we can build and deliver production ready configurable solutions. Several pre-built solutions are already included within the Patterns Explorer. We can view a few example patterns covering application integration, packaged applications, and also SAP integration. In this tutorial, we will be using a concrete pattern called a leaf node. Once configured, this will build for us a production ready solution. The particular pattern we are focusing on here concerns mobile integration with Microsoft.NET applications. Using some previously written .NET code and a .NET class, the purpose of this pattern is to create a web service that runs in Message Broker that wraps around the .NET class. As part of our solution, we will also have built the mobile application itself and the necessary mobile integration logic. Together, we will have created the entire end-to-end -end product stack in just a few minutes. Once we have chosen the pattern we wish to use, we assign it a name and an instance of the pattern is created which we will use. Now we are in the pattern instance editor which provides inline help on the right hand side. We can also see a set of pattern choices called pattern parameters. These allow us to configure how our pattern instance will look. For this example, we will use the defaults and simply assign a name to the .NET class to be created and click configure. Now let's look at a .NET class which was previously created. It's a simple retail banking application. This example class provides us with methods to query the balance of an account, to transfer money between accounts, and to look up a missing account. From here, we can also explore our .NET class, choose methods that we may wish to expose in our service, and also view the parameters to go in and out of our methods. Click OK on this panel, and then click Generate. The Message Broker Toolkit now takes the choices we have made about how we want our integration to look. It will build for us a Message Broker service which will wrap around our .NET class. On the left hand side in the navigation panel we can see a Message Broker integration application. It has a message flow which implements a web service. Let's open this up and have a look graphically at what we have now created. We have created a web services input node for receiving web service requests, some logic which calls our .NET class, and a web services reply node. To deploy this, we simply drag and drop the application onto our execution group, which will make our service available for applications to start calling. Beyond just the message flow creation, this pattern has also generated a WSDL file, a web service description language file. This is the interface to our web service. If we open up the WSDL file, we can see the choices we made earlier regarding which classes we want to be exposed are reflected in the WSDL file, 
for our example banking application. In part two, we will be looking at developing and testing an example mobile application using the service we have just created.